New streaming TV services are debuting at breakneck speed. Streaming entertainment has grown prevalent in American households thanks to the availability of several subscription services, as people spend huge amounts of time and money on streaming media. The pandemic of COVID-19 has increased the trend of streaming entertainment. For the first time in 2020, millions of individuals in homes all over the world joined up for a streaming service because they were stuck at home. There are still chances to invest in streaming as economies recover from the epidemic and people spend more time outside of their homes. The streaming sector is set to see a lot of development in the coming years. What are the finest stocks to buy in if you want to invest in a streaming service? What is it about this relatively new sector that makes it so appealing? Continue watching to learn more. 1. Spotify. Streaming music is also a burgeoning industry. Since 2017, Spotify's premium membership count has quadrupled, with 172 million users in the second quarter of 2021. Though Apple Music is right up there in the United States, the firm has become by far the most dominant player in streaming abroad. Spotify is leveraging its massive market share to create a larger ecosystem. It's now launching sponsored advertising initiatives to help young musicians gain exposure, which might result in a significant cash stream. It's also putting a lot of effort into podcasts as it moves away from large record companies. Spotify's hefty royalties to record companies have long been a source of concern for critics. However, the company's increased market dominance has given it more negotiating strength. Spotify, like Netflix, should eventually become a cash flow story, rewarding early investors who invested before the company became profitable. 2. Apple Inc. Apple is a streaming powerhouse with a lot of options. It's second only to Spotify in terms of music streaming. In addition, the corporation has entered the video streaming competition. Apple TV Plus is a low-cost subscription service that includes a growing selection of original and licensed content. Apple TV Plus has quietly garnered more than 10 million users, even though it hasn't taken the globe by storm yet. If it spends the resources, the company's unrivaled brand and large budget assure it will be competitive in the streaming game. There's also the App Store, which goes unnoticed. Because Apple receives a 30% portion of payments made through iOS, it can levy a fee on some streaming apps as well. Apple, like Disney, has a slew of other industries to fall back on if its streaming goals don't pan out. 3. Netflix. Netflix is the largest streaming pure play, with more than 200 million customers, as the business that launched the streaming TV party. Netflix's net new subscriber growth has slowed in recent years in the United States, although it continues to expand rapidly elsewhere. Netflix, which is also a prolific creator of TV episodes and movies, is continuously adding material in local languages as part of its international expansion plan. However, creating entertainment is not inexpensive. As a result, Netflix has had negative free cash flow for several years. However, the firm plans to break even this year and start generating positive free cash flow in 2022 as it adds new members. 4. The Walt Disney Company. Disney Plus, the much-anticipated streaming service, debuted in late 2019, just in time for the pandemic. It swiftly grew to become the second-largest subscription streaming service behind Netflix, with tens of millions of customers in its first year. In the United States, Disney also owns the streaming services Hulu and ESPN+. Disney has become a powerful participant in the streaming TV industry, both to its large portfolio of entertainment and assets purchased from 21st Century Fox. Even though Disney is a traditional media and entertainment firm, streaming services now account for more than a third of the company's value. Disney doesn't anticipate to start making money on Disney+, Plus, Hulu, or ESPN+, Plus for years due to content production costs. The company's main goal is to increase its subscriber base. Disney, on the other hand, is still profitable overall. The company's vertically integrated activities, which include theme parks, merchandise, broadcast television, and in-house video production technologies, allow it to invest in new material without incurring significant losses. During the epidemic, Disney restructured fast to provide for more flexible content delivery in the future. 5. Roku. Smart TV and streaming device maker have reaped the benefits of streaming TV. Roku has grown to become the most popular TV platform in the United States, providing content through the Roku channel and serving as a central location for homes to manage their streaming subscriptions. 
Roku sells its smart TV software and streaming devices at a low cost, relying on advertising and subscription management to make money. Roku is foraying into original content development by acquiring footage from the now-defunct short-form video provider Quibi. In addition, the business purchased Nielsen's advanced video advertising section to improve the efficiency of its streaming ad platform. Roku is a great option to invest in the booming streaming business since it serves as the entrance to internet-based TV for tens of millions of households. 6. Curiosity Stream. Another newcomer to the business, CuriosityStream, went public in early 2021 after merging with a special-purpose acquisition firm. This streaming media firm, which was formed by Discovery's founder and former CEO, concentrates on documentaries and science programs. CuriosityStream competes in the non-fiction TV arena against established competitors such as Discovery and Disney's National Geographic, accessible on Disney+. Because it focuses on instructional content and collaborates with colleges, the fledgling firm can keep its content development expenses low. In recent years, several of its counterparts have become more focused on reality programming, allowing this modest service to carve out a place for itself among scientific enthusiasts. Are streaming services the right investment for you? As a result of the pandemic, the streaming TV industry has grown rapidly. While streaming services are focused on growing subscribers as fast as possible, investors should be aware that this segment of the entertainment industry is not yet very profitable. Because of streaming media's rapid growth, stock prices can be volatile. The growth potential for internet-based TV streaming is immense, with streaming services likely to redefine entertainment in the next decade.